Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. Oh, Sybil, 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 Sybil. Good morning, Mr. Joyner, and welcome back, Kim Whitley. <laughs> From Los Angeles. Last weekend, I mean, this past weekend, she was in Dallas <laughs> and ripped it up. My boo went to Sybil and, and Yogi's uh, yoga. yoga class center. <laughs> oh, yoga center. Who? Boo! Hey, Kim Whitley. What's up, Boo? How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. How you doing? I understand they had you in yoga class, Boo. Hi, Sybil. <laughs> <laughs> Did they hurt you, Boo? Let me explain something to you. Oh, I still, I'm still in pain. I'm still You're in pain. You're not in boom. pain. I am. You, it was, it was too much. I was, told y'all going in. Was my boo flexible, Sybil? She can be. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm but you know what? It. You are a real trooper. You gave it, you know, all you got, and that well, was that's the kind of boo she is. That was. That was yeah. very nice of you to come over to Yogi's Yoga Center in, <laughs> but, in uh, Fort Worth, uh, Yogi's Texas. Yoda, but let me, and where was it? In, it's in, in Fort Worth, Fort, Texas. Fort Worth, Yogi Yoga Center. Let me explain something to you. <laughs> I didn't understand because first I was like, I ain't doing no yoga. <laughs> but it was so different. It's it different. Was. It was so nice. It was not Had that. Had you I ever done do yoga treat. before? I have and never came back. <laughs> I, now this place, I would go back. I would go really? back there because. What's yeah. so different about it? Well, first of all, the instructor, um, Yogi. Yolanda, she was, yeah, Yogi, yeah. It was very, like, she stretched us. She, Everybody went at their own pace. Um, she talked us through it, talked to us. It was dark. It smelled good. It had all <laughs> kind of affirmations on the wall. And then it was like a, a, a thing of sisterhood. All yeah. the women, it was a place of freedom, you know, that you didn't have judgment because they knew I couldn't. My gait was bad. Like, I couldn't stretch like the other women. They were helping me. There was no judgment. When everyone else was in the downward dog, I was in the cat. So, <laughs> she was doing cat to cow very well, and the rest of us, you know. But you, thank you for really recognizing and understanding, because it really is a different kind of yoga center, and it's not what mm -hmm. most folks are used to. And it's sisters doing yoga, and it's really... Um, it's one of those places where you just don't see a room full of black women doing this uh, together. And as you not said, that other women can't come, right? Right. But it's a it was a sisterhood. But it definitely you don't see black it, women doing yoga. It's, first it's, of all, it's primarily I will say that our our you know organization is mostly black and brown women, and um, but it is open men. to everyone and men. Yeah. 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 We uh, do oh, welcome men. men. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just such a nice environment. Yeah. I, I really so I was what it did, uh, Boo, was it encouraged me uh -huh. to go and find uh -huh. a yoga class like that in Los Angeles. So I, I'm going to be searching because I did feel better and I need you it. Did. It's definitely my mind, my body, and your gait. We know my gait. Yeah, your gait is. But it, but it, it, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I can't gait. say that it was the yoga class on Saturday morning that put Kim in a place in which she went to a different place, a different level when she was on stage Saturday night. It was, Kim has, uh, you know, we, we have her on the radio and, and we see her with He Said, She Said, and we don't get a chance to see Kim perform solo uh, much, but I'm telling you, she was in a different orbit Saturday night with her performance. And Kim is not only one of the funniest women, but, one of the and it really reminded me uh, today as I was looking up birthdays and stuff. Uh, today is the anniversary of the birth of Lucille Ball. Kim is one of those who does physical comedy too, oh. and <laughs> she just she did some machinations Saturday night w with her body <laughs> and showing us how she was twisted up like a pretzel uh, for for some things. Um, just an incredible performance, really, really good. You know, I felt good on that stage. It was a great show. You the looked ladies night great. Out. Oh, thank you, Sybil. I was nervous. You're you know, always, that you guys always were nervous. There. Yeah, I'm always nervous. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad. You know, if Tom would have been there, I don't know what. I probably would just use the bathroom on the stage. I was nervous, <laughs> but uh, oh, God. And I knew you guys were in the audience, so you know it puts that little pressure on you. But it was a great audience, yeah. great show, sold out. And your message to me when I got off stage was so so sweet. What she, she said. The, 
brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And I'm really? Like, oh, she really was. likes me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it really I, is. uh, it was a great show. That's it, good, it really boo. Was. That's so, good. So I hate I missed. We did it. have a heckler. Yeah. I did get nervous. We had a heckler. Yeah. What the heck was you that? You saw the lady. She was the heckler. She had been uh, she had been celebrating or something. I don't know. Yeah. In and advance. She, and, and but you don't know, right. you know, is this an antagonist? What's happening? Right. Because she stood up and I was like in the middle of my joke, Tom, and you look for heckler protection. I was going through all my <laughs> so I was like, heckler Do you call protection. security? Do you have some jokes to kill on her? But I gotta get through this punchline. All so you know my ADD had set in. I was losing it. I had lost it. So but she was she was nice and then finally I just told him, sit down. A nice heckler? She didn't was, mean any harm. She just yeah, she, she didn't just mean any harm. she just, she was just loved, full, huh? she loved the ladies and who were performing and you know, she, and you and you know this too, Tom. Because of the way the show is, we are with people in their most intimate times of the day, in the morning, and uh, you know they they talk back to us. Yes. They 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 hear our <laughs> stories. They you know they so they, 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 they laugh along, they and so they them. think that you know Kim is out there talking to this one particular woman. You know, yeah, girl, and and, and, and yeah, up. Tata. I was like, if you don't sit down. <laughs> This ain't the radio show. What's wrong with you? <laughs> like she, like she hollering back at the radio. Yes, oh just God. like she does at and home. And she's probably, and she's probably doing that right this moment. Yeah. Oh, 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 Kim, you know it wasn't like that. I love you, girl. You know, I want yes. you to find somebody. You know, it's, it's like, oh, bless you. It heart. was out of control. But you, you miss Sherry backstage, pacing, <laughs> losing her mind. I come off stage. Uh, Sherry's like. Uh, I'm gonna call security on her. I'm like, if you don't calm down, yeah, Sherry, Sherry was gonna take her out, and she and and then it. she, you know, showed her love for Sherry too, and right. uh, Sherry was, had a full on conversation. With yeah, her. oh my god, <laughs> when I tell you, I thought she was gonna bring her up on stage and just have a conversation. Just yeah, I was like, I was like what you doing? What are you funny. doing? Yeah, it it, it gets it because it's a lot of women. I only saw like two men in the audience. Well, it was a ladies, see, uh, you know, comedy was, night out for comedy, and it was it was they, definitely a. They came out to support. Out. It really oh. did. What, what about your show? How, how was your show? Oh, uh, boo. Uh, one more time. Oh, sold out. Uh, people came from everywhere, including uh, this guy from from Detroit. He brought he bought 80 tickets for 80 people from Detroit, and they came what? to the show. Yeah, I got people following us now. And then, of course, and then, uh, of course, uh, we had have, we have people from Birmingham and 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 half of Tuskegee turned out. Of course, that's like twenty people, and uh, <laughs> you know, Columbus, Georgia, Love. all these all these places around Atlanta, and it was a sellout. And I don't think I mentioned this yesterday, Sybil. It was a BYOB. You couldn't buy alcohol. Uh, they had no concessions. At the at this venue, the, wow. the this is what not the same. Man. This this is not the same outdoor venue that we've done the uh, the funk fest. Mm-hmm. So people so people came in liquored up because they had they had, they had uh, uh, parties outside the venue before. before the show. Yeah, they had tailgate parties, and they had, had and I and, and I noticed everybody had a cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And then we had bottles and, and 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 bottles and bottles of liquor and and, and they were really liquored up. Mm. <laughs> Having a good time. See, I I love that. I do too. You know I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would have I would have had to go to somebody else's uh, cooler. I'd have been like, you know, we can't buy liquor here, but do you mind if I? Okay, <laughs> sharing is caring. Yes. yes. Now the venue in Dallas. The venue in Dallas has two huge bars. Huge! That's the Toyota, uh, the Toyota uh, the music. music factory in yeah. Toyota. It's a great venue, and Charlie Wilson, and <laughs> Dougie Fresh, and Life Jennings. We are going to party in Dallas for the one more time experience next Friday. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be good. It's, it's gonna be good. outdoor, indoor. It's out. It's it's outdoor and indoor. Uh, if you can, if you can imagine what I'm talking about, it's outdoor and indoor. It's, uh, it's, it's. it's you it's, can open the roof. You can, you can. It's, it's something. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to open no roof. It's the 16th of August. Yeah. 
Seven Next Friday. Thousand degrees. Yeah. <laughs> so come to the one more time in Dallas and have that good time that we're having all over the country. Thank you again, Atlanta. That was one of the best. <laughs> 11 past the hour. TJMF.